I'm already uh, really impressed uh, all the hospitality I, I have received so far. And uh, of course, to be very honest, a little bit moved also and touched about what I have seen uh, in this hospital. I think it's always uh, something special to see newborn babies and uh, especially uh, to see this new uh, human milk bank which is existing and working uh, in, in this hospital which also provides new op opportunities for these uh, small newborn babies. Um, we are very delighted uh, as the European Union uh, that we have been able to financially contribute to this uh, milk bank. And of course, I want to also uh, pay attention to our um, Team Europe member, our member state Germany, who has been also financing uh, in general quite a lot, health sector and hospitals uh, in Nepal. Uh, from the European Union, Union's perspective, of course, uh, nutrition has been one of our priorities uh, in, in general in our long-standing cooperation with, with Nepal and uh, uh, it's good to see that here actually in this hospital nutrition and health are very much uh, I would say uh, emerged so that, uh, that uh, those two aspects are, are present in, in our EU, Team Europe activities in, in this hospital. I'm coming from Finland. Finland is my, my home country and uh, its country in, in the north of Europe. And actually, uh, in my home country, women have uh, breastfed their babies for centuries. And that's why it was also interesting to discuss uh, with doctor uh, why, you know, uh, the breastfeeding rate is so low in, in your country. What is the reason for that? And how we could also, together, uh, different authorities in Nepal, but also the European Union and our member states to encourage women to breastfeed their children more actively uh, in, in, in Nepal. Um, in general, of course, uh, Nepal and EU, we are long-standing partners. Uh, next year, we celebrate the 50th anniversary of our diplomatic relations. And this human development, human capital development has been for a long time, I would say for decades, one of our priority areas in our bilateral cooperation. And um, in addition to nutrition, we are also very much focusing on education. That actually will be my next uh, visit point. I will next uh, visit a school here in Nepal. So um, I think it, but it was good to see that now I saw these uh, newborn uh, citizens of Nepal and next I'm able to then see a little bit more grown-up uh, citizens of Nepal. And uh, I can say that uh, based on all the discussions and, uh, and visit, uh, visits uh, so far, I am very convinced that uh, the future of Nepal will be bright. And of course the European Union will definitely support you in, in this endeavor. So thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to visit this place.